Where was I going? Man, I already forgot where I am. Oh, here we go. I don't remember. I don't remember. It's actually been two weeks. Uh, damn. The shit's gonna come out a lot later than everything else, but a lot of shit has happened. Uh, you're, uh, you're moving. What the fuck? Yeah. That's a yeah, big thing. so, uh, that, that, that was a... That's a, that happened out of nowhere. I can- I'll tell that story once we get going in a second. I'm trying- I gotta fix my fucking godforsaken microphone sound. Oh, no. This is- this Everyone go be, on hold. This will be the last time I use this exact microphone setup. I'll probably do the same thing at my new- whenever I get a new place. Or at least, even at my parents' house, because I'll be able to set up to record at my parents' place while I'm there. Um... But, uh... So we won't have to halt Firestorm recordings or anything, but I do have to move. Damn. That's alright, I think we- I think we've just got a few album reviews and shadow generations whenever we decide we want to start yeah. that. So yeah, we're not- it shouldn't be- It just can't be, it just, it can't, just be. can't be, can't be who I think it is. It just- it just is. Okay, you- okay, also, you- 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 you pranked me. Um, Did I? So I, I remember- Last recording, or like at, at the tail end of it, um, I think I, I, I was mentioning, oh, uh, like some sort of bo uh, the bosses coming up. Like I'm curious what they are, and all you said was, uh, it's a boss rush, but it's not what you think it is. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't know what I don't think it is. So I stopped thinking, and I was like, okay, I don't know what it is going to be, that's fine. And, um, then a few days after, I was like, okay, I want to- I randomly felt like going back and seeing how terrible my singing was in the first episode. And yeah. I, when I was watching it, I, I saw the opening animation, and I'm like, oh wait, we haven't seen that yet. And I'm like, oh, that's probably- it is- it, isn't it? Everyone's gonna be fighting each other. <laughs> Correct. Oh, no. Oh no. Because <laughs> oh, uh, the opening animation is Igus and Bettis fighting um, fucking Ken and Akihiko. And I'm Correct. Like, Wait a minute. Yep. That's what you the got the it. Fuck? You're on the. You're, you what you the nailed it. Oh god. <clears throat> that. Hence why I have. I'm. I think. I think it's probably required by the game. But just in case it isn't, that is exactly why I have kept Metis in the party. And have never questioned her presence at all. Yeah. Because I knew she, she was gonna be my only teammate. Come down down the important. line. Yeah. There you go, Akiko. Yes, th that okay. is correct. We're gonna have to fight in teams of two, and it's gonna have to be two like three, I, th I think three different teams of two, all in a row. Okay. Then, yeah, so Ken and Akihiko, oh. I imagine, because they've paired them together in flashback, uh, Junpei and the dog, and yep. then the girls. Yes, I, I believe imagine. that's correct. Okay, I don't know wonderful. that exactly, but I also, believe that's correct. Yeah, fair enough. Also, um, I'm going to do a first. I, my gamer subs finally arrived. Oh, right. Uh, like, Yesterday, after I ordered it over That's a month ago. Um, so, a little explanation. My favorite G Fuel, unironically, is the Tekken one, which is kind of funny. Um, but no one else cares about it. Like, it's got, like, the least amount of five-star reviews on the fucking G Store store. Uh, right. No, G Fuel store. Um, and it's a cantaloupe flavor. So, in my head, I was like, hmm. What, uh, Gamer Subs is close enough to that where I'd probably enjoy it. And I got the one that's called Raw Meat. So it okay. doesn't have any anime chicks on it. It's just red. Uh, and it's meant to taste like watermelon and cantaloupe. So I've got one here. I've got my serving. I'm going to try it right now, live. All right. I, I actually I recently got the gamer subs. I don't. Uh, I didn't get the caffeinated version because I still have like a gazillion servings of the Persona Three one because I don't really drink uh, G Fuel that much. Um, so I yeah. got the the no caffeine version of the Anime Girl Thighs by Gamer Subs, which is <laughs> which is delicious. Yeah. It's like it's what like you, a what, what orange cream it? flavored. It's orange cream, so it's it's like. Have you ever had like a you know those popsicles that are like orange cream? I forget what they're called. Dreamsicles. Yeah. Dreamsicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It tastes like those. We, we, 
We don't have that, but I can imagine the flavor. Yeah. I didn't it's, realize it, it, just how much smaller the Game of Subs tubs are compared to the G Fuel ones. Yeah, there are and it's much, meant to they be are like, much less. I don't know if it's more concentrated or what, but yeah. I think it, it has to be more concentrated. It has to be. Mm -hmm. You'd hope so. Okay. First sip. Um, not that bad. It's definitely more watermelon than anything else, but... It's pretty good. All right, sweet. Yeah, because, um... <coughs> fuck. It nice, says 100 crit. servings. Go on. What? No, it's... Um, it says 100 servings, but it's actually two scoops is the equivalent to one of the G Fuel scoops. So I believe in the reality, scooper is, is much smaller, 50. also. Yes, so... It's definitely more diluted, but it still gives you at least 50 servings, whereas G Fuel is only meant to give you 40. So, mm. you know, fair enough. Um, will I be permanently switching to Game of Subs? I don't know, because I also got the free sample packets. Fuck you, stupid fucking... Um, I got sachets of... Oh, you got the free cocktail. sample pack? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember, yeah, like, yeah. one time when I was playing Block. Rain Code and I said I had, like, a piss yellow gamer subs? Yeah, that's that right. That was one of the free samples. Was it... I imagine pineapple, then, if it's yellow. I'm beating my ass know. beat. Fucking guacamole nice gamer fart 9000. Well, she's That's gonna take that anyway. Watch this. Fucking nuts. Oh, I'm watching. All my friends are dead. I'm just gonna... Oh. Wow. I'm just gonna go crazy. One more. Come on, I guess. I have oh, to do anything. Oh, look at that. I stay right here, do absolutely jack diddly squat, and just let my friends come back to life naturally. Okay! God okay! Come on, I guess. Come on! I don't blame I blame don't the other it, guy. I, no. I blame the other guy for that. Okay, he's dead. Um, Thank God. But, uh... It's yeah. just I guess by itself. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, that's, um... That's right. Yeah, pineapple cocktail, guacamole gamer fart 9000. I don't know what that is. Hopefully guacamole it doesn't actually gamer taste like fart. guacamole. Uh, that sounds disgusting. Yep. Uh, not the fart, not even Clyde's the fart part. Just black... guacamole, uh, guacamole in a drink sounds disgusting. Yeah, exactly. Uh, guacamole in a drink. Hey, everyone's level 96, uh, 69. That's pretty hilarious. Um, Yo, that's so fucking Clyde's funny. Clyde's black cherry. I know, right? And there's one here that's just called brand mm. risk. By Pay Money Wobby, and it it's well her tits are out, but they're covered by peaches, and I don't. I'm assuming it's peach then. Um, You'd have to imagine. Yeah, that's the whole factor of just using like anime girls and making the collab. I've seen some of the collab fucking uh, shaker cups, and like they even turn uh, the, the the guys that they're collaborating with into hot anime girls. Correct. And it's yes. like wow, they. They they have a they have a method and if it's doing well for them, I guess keep it up. I, I don't know, but it's I, I'm not gonna parade around with a shy lily shaker cup. Like I, as much as I would love to, I won't be able to do that. I can't take that to work and not be criticized. <laughs> so I take my Persona Three Reload cup yeah. to work. <clears throat> yeah, that's that's. That's fine though. It's not big. Like anything that's not massive titted woman, you should yeah. be fine. Like, you have to imagine. Ow. I meant to fucking switch instead of being a dill dingle butt. Here we go. A dill dingle butt? There we go. Um. Yeah. No game. Uh, yeah, I don't really have a preference. I'm not a big, like, uh. That kind of, like, G Fuel or. Like, either one. Not really my thing. But... It might end up becoming, because God knows, if I, if I drink enough soda, I'll eventually die, so... Um... Yeah. I might have to transition. Uh, this is, this is the very least, it's still caffeine. More caffeine than soda, and it won't fuck yeah. your teeth. Because of the carbonation. Uh, okay, also, so I think this is actually... I don't know... I don't know about the G Fuel, the Persona one you have. This Game of Subs one is actually, like, diluted a lot better. Like, there's not, like, a weird layer of fucking dust at the bottom of the bottle. 
Uh, yeah, actually, I don't have. I don't really have that. With the Persona one, at least yeah, in my G Fuel, G Fuel leaves like a weird chalky layer at the bottom if you don't like if you don't shake it consistently. But I left this in the fridge overnight, <laughs> and it's I can't see any dust at the bottom. So that's actually a, a bonus for Game of Subs. That's a plus. I might be leaving G Fuel. Who knows? This you've you've seen it. Well, this is the good, moment of conversion. This is the moment of conversion where one man switches to another, and switches his brand loyalty. <clears throat> I know. This it's such a shame. Like G Fuel, I've been top tier for so long, and then they're fucking charging ridiculous prices for shipping now. And not to say GamerStops aren't doing the same thing, but. They actually have uh, codes that allow you to just do free shipping. That's probably why they waited and took a month before they sent it to me, because they were like, oh, fuck. We gotta send it to Australia for free? Uh, they probably weren't happy about that. Well, I mean, I you gotta but, imagine yeah. they expected that, right? <laughs> like, that has to be part- like, Yeah. You have to take that kind of thing into consideration. When you yeah, offer free I shipping. Yeah, I like would think so. I'd like to think so, but who knows? I mean, those There's those marketing teams this? are diligent. Like they they'll be uh they'll they'll have expected it. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Fuck! 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 No! I'm gonna make a big circle. Big it's circle. Big like, circle. Big circle. Ow! Oh my god! He he's up oh, there. Oh. Damn. Okay. Well, it's just the fucking tanks. I don't care. The tanks are fine. I can deal with the tanks. Okay. As long as I'm not weak to light. I don't think I am. I'm not. I know. Never mind. I thought I knew what they were weak to, and I was wrong. Um. Oh, good. I don't even have like I have nothing I can do. Great. Just shoot me. Uh. I'm just gonna heal everybody. Not a bead chain. That's too far. I don't need to go that far. Let's not get crazy. Um. Oh, Yukari was gonna be next up. Oh, okay. Why did I so. Even bother? Guacamole Gamer Fart is actually just Strawberry Lime. It's just- it's just got a funny name. <laughs> Guacamole Gamer mm. Fart. And okay, Brand Risk is, is Peach fun. Mango. That actually might be nice. pretty good. Oh, crit. These tanks are fucked. Tough bastards. Um... Oh, okay, but yeah, so I've been- I've basically been spending the last week packing my shit um in all honesty i really haven't been doing a good job because uh my parents are coming to help me move a lot of the furniture out of the place tomorrow and i realized i still have a, a ton of crap to do before i because like uh like <laughs> you know all i have a, a bunch of stuff like on my desk the one that i'm not using like the one that's off to like the left of the couch oh. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's gonna have to get moved tomorrow, and I still haven't done anything with it. <laughs> um, <laughs> just you it need is, to go find a box, just throw everything. No, in the I, box that's literally what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna end up like getting like trash bags and boxes to throw everything into. Um, so, cause, cause I'm still gonna have to move. Like, I'm, I'm still gonna have to do stuff after we're done recording. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Damn. It's fine. Busy like I, I brought, I brought it upon myself, honestly. Um, this is like, at least in the time I've known you, like the fourth or fifth time you've had to move. Was like yeah, well, part else. of that was because I was in college at the time and I was moving back and forth. Um, yeah, real. like it was college, and then it was Philadelphia with Mecca, and you yeah. couldn't afford it in the end. Or well, he, 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 yeah, he, it was he both of us kind of couldn't afford it. Yeah. Um, yeah, but uh, he has a new Mecca has a new place with the boyfriend now, so that th that's good. Um, oh, good on him. Awesome. But uh, yeah, but um, fuck. Uh, yeah. So basically, the what happened <laughs> was uh, my grandmother. So my grandmother owns the house, and she it apparently like become like paying between like paying property taxes and uh, like dealing with homeowners association. It became. A massive just pain like it just became it just became a pain for her and because my cousin wasn't paying rent uh, 
it she like couldn't keep up financially like the house wouldn't even pay for itself right so Oof. yeah uh she was just like i need to get rid of this and i think she probably took a low ball offer on the house because she just wanted to get rid of it like i was talking to mom and dad and some of my coworkers, and they're like they could have sold this place for like three hundred fifty thousand dollars. and i think she probably took under 300 for it um just because she wanted to, just because she wanted to get rid of it um so like she just didn't want to have to deal with the trouble anymore and yeah <clears throat> so but because of that um it just happened suddenly like it was a week ago like a little over a week ago that she, she like got the offer and accepted the deal on selling the house um and i was like i'll be out by i don't know october 11th uh like i gave her like october 11th as like a just a general like maybe i'll be i should have everything out by this time um so I got like a, a thing for to store all my crap, you know, like I got a little storage unit to store all my furniture yep. and stuff because it won't fit in mom and dad's house. Um, yeah, fair enough. You, I mean, like you got, okay, this is actually, uh, it, well, I don't know if you actually do this, but it is kind of the time for you to uh, like count how many volumes of manga and light novel you actually have. Oh, you, I, uh, I keep, I keep like, track. I keep track. Uh, like I have a, um, oh. yeah, I have a spreadsheet just cause like, I'm one of those people that I don't know if it's like OCD or it's like a, it's like one of the things people with OCD do, but it's like make lists of things. That's like really satisfying. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think, I don't think I necessarily have OCD, but it's just like, it's one of those things that I like to do. Um, and so I, I keep track and I am, I'm close. I think I'm around 900 now. Um, Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. That's so, fucking epic. I, and, I, and ironically, um, well, maybe not ironically, but I managed to squeeze over a hundred into one box. <laughs> it's a heavy Damn. ass. It's a heavy ass box. Um, but yeah, I can imagine. Because of that, That's like, fuck all. Yeah, because of that, it's um, I, I've managed to keep it to like the actual amount of boxes. It's not as heavy as you might expect, but it's pretty darn heavy um mm -hmm. and uh so i've been i've been able to keep it to like a relative minimum of like uh just scan fuka jesus christ um okay yeah that's what i thought um but uh so i've been able to keep it like relatively uh like the, the actual like i've condensed it pretty everything pretty well uh but it's just gonna be a pain in the ass because i have to get a place now um, I don't really, you know, surprise, I don't really want to live with mom and dad for, like, I'm fine with living with them yeah. for a while, but, um, it's just not, it's just not in the cards for me, like, I, I have too much that I want to do that they, I think they would get in the way of, um, but it also, it just, it, it just because, like, I, I would probably be living nearby anyway, so if mom and dad needed me to, like, watch the cat or whatever, I could do that. I could just drive over once a day and, like, feed the cat or whatever. Um, yeah. And it's also, like, you want your own space for your... God, own, yeah. Your, your shit. Yeah, like, I can't... Yeah, I can't just, like, have dads. mom and dad walk into my room and I have, like, a gazillion anime figures everywhere. You know? It's just some, something, like, preventing me from from that. Just, just on a... Like, out of principle. You know? <laughs> um, yeah. Shop boost... Not help I can imagine given like more space, more freedom. Like I unironically have like four or five rolled up posters at the top of my wardrobe that I've yet to get framed because I'd have no space to hang them. Hmm. And I can also imagine me putting like buying and putting on display vastly more books. Uh, so like, yeah, I, I, I've been very, um, minimal with what i've bought i got fucking scammed the other day because um and i got pissed off because of it but i realized i couldn't do anything about it i so i've got my own uh health insurance now because when you turn 25 you have to get your own health insurance <laughs> you gotta go on the family one and like it's for dental and for chiropractor and shit like that mm. and um so i've been on it just under two months I had to go to the dentist, mm -hmm. uh, went to the dentist, it's all good, got the clean, got the checkup, no problem, uh, but the car didn't work, 
and it's like oh you're you're still like a few weeks off you're you're on a waiting period because when you uh, first sign up you get put on a on a waiting period so you don't like use everything and fuck off mm. basically right that's the rule they have and i'm like okay then if i'm on the waiting period like you still gave me the card and i thought the two months was over but clearly it wasn't so i went in the day after i paid full price for the dentist appointment and they were like nah we can't help you i'm like okay Damn. fuck you then right you fucking wasted 200 bucks like or however, however much it was and i'm like that's fucking irritating i'm paying for this and i can't use it whatever um so to make myself feel better, I bought, I found the books, uh, one of our bookstores now, uh, QBD Books, they're starting to stock a lot more, like, anime stuff and manga stuff. Like, mm -hmm. they had a decent selection before, but now they've got, like, fucking figures and shit. Yeah. I, I, that, I don't know why they're doing that now. Um, nowhere near the level of, uh, the amount of stock as, like, a Barnes & Noble, but they're starting to grow. And, um, I got the first volume of Free Ren. Hell yeah. So I'm like, all right, fuck it. Why not? That, that's, that was my trying to make myself feel a little bit better after being irritated and by spending more money on a book. <laughs> well. It was only $17. It was actually pretty cheap. So. Can't complain about that. But yeah. Fucking feel like I'm getting scammed. <clears throat> Losing money. Never good. Yeah. Ironically, my my oh Wi-Fi connection lost. Well, rest in peace, Wi-Fi. Um, rest in it. Your PlayStation popped up in the corner just before, like, oh, uh, <laughs> cool started with Trent's cool started with DJ Gold, and it had our Discord profile pictures. <laughs> no, and I just saw DJ Gold and thought that was hilarious. <laughs> Sony knows. Uh, Sony knows who DJ Gold really is. They found out. Uh, yeah. Um, it's a. Uh, it's crazy. It's getting crazy around here. But I, I think hopefully while I um, while mom and dad are helping, we're gonna go look at a couple places. We're taking. Hopefully, we should be taking a couple tours of condos to to look at. Um tomorrow while they're helping me move so do you think you'd be able to afford living by yourself or you oh god yeah roommate? yeah 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 um i think it, it's definitely because i'm getting some help from grandma she's like wow he hello dj so there Gold. it is there it um, is. <laughs> yeah i'm getting some help from grandma thankfully um that's a big help i would yeah. i don't think i would be able to if not for that um but i'm not planning to go anywhere in the immediate future um, because I was I was looking into it like this kind of made me think like what do I want to what do I actually like want to do you know in terms of like a full time job and stuff uh, and I it I did my research and a lot of like <laughs> I learned that a lot of like localizing people like for the translation stuff and localizing are all like in either California or in Japan. And I'm like, I don't want to go to either of those places and live there. <laughs> um, so what's wrong with California? It's horrible. Uh, it's hot. Everything never changes. You have to drive to get everywhere. Traffic's god awful. Uh, I, I just don't like I would not like living in California. It just never changes. Huh. Um, it, uh, I, yeah, I can't I can't enough. do okay. without the cold. I need cold in my life. Um, yeah. And, uh, like, I, I think I'd probably be able to stomach it, honestly. Like, I, just depending. But a lot of the, like, the California companies are, like, major ones. You know, and, like, there are also jobs, like, I, I think I would be more fine living somewhere like Seattle. Like, that would probably be more doable. And that's where Nintendo is, is located. Um, and they are, like, but the problem with the Nintendo jobs is is that they're always like a year and a half like or like 18 month contract so there's a chance you would just be done after 18 months and i'm like i'm not going to seattle to live there for 18 months like i'm just yeah. i'm just not doing that um so i think probably instead i'll probably like if i'm going to do translate like localizing jobs 
I'll probably do them like anything remote. Like I, it, I think, to, and especially like towards the future, like there's just going to be more people doing that shit remotely because it's it's just all writing, you know. Like there's no reason for yeah. a lot of people to be in the office. Um, so. I think by the time I'm ready to transition to, if if that were to be the direction I want to go, to do that full time, like that would, I think I'd probably be okay with doing it remote. Whoops. Um, but yeah, it just it's just a pain. Like I'm not, I don't really want to give up like everything. You know, it just seems like such a huge pain to to move somewhere, and I don't know, like I don't know what I what job I would need to have for me to be willing to do that you know what i mean um yeah like uh, like you there's no point in dropping everything and moving across the fucking country for a, a job that might not last more than two years yeah. unless you're fully confident that is 100 percent what you want to right do. exactly like for, i i just yeah i'm not about to just give up everything that i that i've already like done so far it's just it's just not worth it um Nah. And like I, I think like even if I wanted, if I with my genuinely own job. wanted to become a professional wrestler, I could drop everything, move right next to the academy, and then just fucking do that every day. Like if I was one hundred percent about that, yeah. but I'm not. Like I've got other things I want to do. Right. Like it's just not one of those things you fucking drop everything for. Yeah. And th that's the thing, right? Because I have a there. Are, it's that's exactly it. like I have a lot of things I want to do. Like I would, I'd love to do a soundtrack for a game at some point. Like I'd like to. Um, and I'm not planning on stopping doing Silver Storm anytime soon. Like, that's still going to be going. Um, so, like, I'm not going to give up everything. And, and in fact, like, in terms of, like, the qual like the localizing stuff, there are, like, tons of people more qualified than me, I think. Like, I don't... Especially at this point in time, I'm not sure how many actual companies would take my, like... Oh, I've been doing anime covers. I've been localizing anime songs for like six years. I don't know how many people would take that seriously, right? Um, yeah, it's it's tough to say. So it's just not something I'm willing to just give up everything and start pursuing because I already I like Sil I'm, Silverstorm uh, is already like it's performing just fine. It's like half my income at this point, so I don't need to stop it. Like, and I'm enjoying mm -hmm. doing what I what, I'm enjoying doing it. So. And it's only just going to keep getting bigger. So I don't... Like, I'm not going to give up everything just to fucking bet on some company that might just drop me. Uh, yeah. So... You know. might, like, even need certain qualifications for those types of No, jobs. that's exactly it. Like, I, th um, I, I think... Because I, I did my research on that as well, like, for the localizing jobs. It's like, usually they want you to have... Like, you don't necessarily need to... Because there's, like, Japanese, like, tests or whatever, you know? Like, there's, like, a, a national test or whatever that gives you, like, a certain... That, like, essentially grants you a certificate of, like, a certain level of proficiency in another language. They have them for every language. Um, so, I think that would probably be a good way to do it. To, like, show companies that you actually are proficient. But a lot of, like... There's this whole website that talks about... Uh, that has like interviews with people who are localizing folks who have localizing jobs and half of them it will not even half of them like i've seen like at least multiple articles that are like you don't need to do that uh like the the big thing is huh. just networking right like you if you know the people then the opportunities will come which i i don't really like but that was a gamble uh but um yeah, it's it, that's what it is. Like, especially in the in the in the era of the internet, if you just like know people, like those kinds of like opportunities you want might end up coming to you. Um, but there was also yeah, I, I saw a story about a guy that like spent two years relentlessly studying Japanese and then ended up moving to Japan to be an in-house localizer. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I don't think I want to do that either. <laughs> No. <laughs> like, I mean, I would like to... I, I have considered maybe, like, living elsewhere, like, another whole country, mm -hmm. like a Japan or an America. Yep. And I'm like, that's another thing, though. If I'm going to make that big of a commitment, 
what am I gonna do? Yeah, you gotta be all like, about it. I Whatever need, it is, you gotta be all about yeah. it. Yeah. Like my current line of work, that it it is something that can be done across the world. It's more so just having higher qualifications. I'm trying to convince them uh, before the end of the year to let me do a diploma, mm -hmm. so I can actually like have a somewhat significant certificate I could take with me elsewhere, but not mention oh. that part. They won't want me to leave if they help me get a diploma, but mm -hmm. they, they get compensated for it, so it's one of those things. But, um... Metis, if you kill yeah, yourself... Yeah, it's... Okay. I'm, I'm just trying, like... I don't know, it's just one of those big choices in life yeah. you have to consider. Um, it's frustrating, because no one knows what the fuck's going on. Fuck. Like, Heat riser, suck my um, nuts. Unless, like, the first three volumes of the new Protector pop off and make loads of money, which I highly fucking doubt. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to keep being an... Uh, I don't know if being an author will be my sole thing. That's that's my... That's 10% of my fucking work Oops. at the moment. As if I'm going to let you pull that shit off. I'm going to kill you before you can do anything. Um... Yeah, no, that, that that's totally it. Yeah. Like, it's you just can't like, it's, you have to find a balance of everything. It's hard to, it's very tough to like give everything to one specific thing, and there's a chance it would pay off, right? Like, there's always that chance it would pay off, especially if you like happen to know the right people or like really, really put yourself out there. Um, yeah, actually, sorry, that, I was, that, was, that was the thing you were saying before about networking, like, that is surprisingly vastly more valuable in many industries than actual experience. Yes, it, it really Just is. who you know. Because, well, and like, that's, that's I, the thing, right, because think if you think about it from the employer's perspective, right, this is one, this is, a, like, part of the things I studied in, in college, like, if you think about it from the employer's perspective, right, if you have someone who's already you already employ and you tell that person like oh i need someone to do this for our company and that guy who you're talking to is like oh i know someone who can do that and is available to be employed at our at our thing that becomes immediately more uh, convenient right it just becomes infinitely more convenient mm -hmm. because you can just skip the like putting out an ad and like the indeeds or like the whatever like the online hiring things like you don't have to do that you can just like bring this person that they know in see if they're qualified and if they are bam you have that person you have that role you need that's already taken care that's of that's literally how i got my job yeah <laughs> my uh, my supervisor is actually m one of my sister's ex uh one of my sister's ex and um, he's, he's a top bloke. Like, no, none of us have ill will towards him, even after they broke up. Mm -hmm. But he's a top bloke. And he heard I was in the same industry now, like, years later. And he's just like, oh, do you want to come work for us? And I'm like, oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. Like, we, could offer, we could offer a full-time contract. I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go. So, like, it's literally just because he knew me. Like, yeah. So. That's literally it. Yeah. Because, I mean... But that, that, that's the thing. And now you have to figure out, like... Where are the fucking, like, you know the translators are well, in California or Japan. Now you just gotta hope you luck out and make friends with one of them? Like, yeah, well, it, see, I don't know, because it, it would just depend on, like, because I don't know if that is the exact direction I want to go, right? Because it could also be, because if, if I were to do, like, anime dubs and shit, that's a different place altogether. Um, like, a lot of that takes place in Texas, which I also don't particularly want to live in, but... It might be better than California. Because you mentioned years ago, uh, directing? Yeah, well, like, the, yeah, that's a lot of, like, that. so a lot of those anime studios that do, like, or not anime studios, but, you know, like, the ones who that do, like, over, that do dubbing, they're in, like, Houston, yeah. Texas, or whatever. Uh, I don't know why there, but they are there. Uh, I remember hearing something about how, like, um... Uh, laws around like unions are different in certain states, so maybe like that could be they don't have to pay certain regulations or certain Texas fees or is something. definitely why. Uh, a more conservative, so that it might that could definitely be part of it. Um, yeah, because I I remember that that's like one of the reasons several voice actors in like a certain year, like 2010 or whatever, like changed for for a lot of shows i remember reading about that once um uh. yeah so who knows but 
Because, because, oh, no, 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 it was something to do with, um, one of the Yu-Gi-Oh dubs, uh, like, for four kids, that's right, uh, four kids had to either change studios or, like, a few other people left because they weren't getting paid, uh, more from the union rates or whatever it was. Yeah, Fuck. something like that. I, d I don't know all the details, but, yeah. But Houston, Texas. Yeah, it's where a lot of that shit happens. What's wrong with- I don't have a what's wrong with Houston, Texas. I don't Texas, have a problem then. with Houston, not, not Texas. what's wrong with it, but yeah. yeah, I don't really have a problem with it to be honest. But um, again, it's just hot. <laughs> That's really my biggest issue. Yeah, um, okay, and I don't yeah, and I don't particularly like the the city, like living in the city. Yeah, I think it's a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah, like uh, I get that. That, that. that would be really my my only actual problems with it. Uh, other than that, like, not a big deal. And, uh, it, it, I mean, honestly, it's not as far as California, so it wouldn't be as big of a pain in the ass to, to move, to move there. Um, but just depends, like, cause I, I mean, ironically, just because of the, the anime stuff, I do know some folks who are, like, in and around the dubbing scene. So I, that would be much, probably much easier for me to do. <clears throat> To, to go mm. that direction. Get fucking owned. Okay. Um. Oh yeah. The other day I was. <laughs> it's so funny how um. <laughs> we record week to week, and like I don't have a lot to talk about, and then we miss a single week, and then I have fucking loads to talk about. It's so it's really fucking stupid. Um. The other day Bicycle I was man. just scrolling through YouTube. And I saw something I haven't Fuck! seen in a while. I saw the uh, Goblin Slayer abridged on pop up, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, I haven't watched that in a bit. I'll watch some of that." And I watched it, and then I <laughs> I heard your voice pop up in the song you made for them. I'm like, "Oh, I completely forgot you did yeah, that." Yeah, that did happen. I'm just like, what, like what the fuck? I, I was. Because I, I remember we talked about it before years ago, mm -hmm. and I, I was I completely forgot you did that, and I was just like, "What the fuck, Gus? Where did you Where did you yep. come from?" That's what happened. That, that was it the poop patrol guard. one? The poop patrol, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that was that. Yeah, that was funny. I think Grim Dra Grim Jack is a uh, he's a funny guy. He's doing a lot more um, like this in a nutshell sort of videos mm. and he did one on free run that's really really good nice like, he's a he's a funny guy and he's popping off on shorts a lot of people are popping off on fucking youtube shorts fuck me it's annoying uh, that's what you gotta do man you gotta start making youtube shorts hey, nah nah <laughs> Nah, like, when I- when I say I got that grind mindset, I- I don't mean pumping out the shittiest low attention span fucking bullcrap content. I mean the high quality content. Me poorly playing Tekken, like, once a year. <laughs> that shit. That's the grind mindset right there. Fuck. I mean, I guess I just wing it. Stop missing, freak, bruh. Man, in this situation, I die. Die! Oh, come on. Metis might die. What does oh. the Minotaur have? God's hand. Well done, Metis. You did it. I'm surprised. What does that thing have? God's hand. Get owned. All right, that was the big one. As long as I don't have to deal with that guy, he was—he's about to have concentrate, and as long as he didn't get to do that, I'm safe. Kill. Let's go. Good. Uh, Good job. We win, sucker. Yeah. Can you dig it, sucker? <laughs> I need. I need. I fucking haven't watched Rezero yet. I need to do that. It's like an I, hour and a half. Yeah, I 
I almost want to like rewatch our previous reviews because I don't remember what happened at the end of season two. I like they kissed. And they kissed it. once, like, yeah. They they kissed once. I I've forgotten so much shit. Like, is Rem still in a coma? Yes. Fuck. Yeah, I, wa I watched it the other day. It actually, it's it's proper good. Like, you know, it's it's about a, it's exactly what you'd expect from ReZero. Like, you know, but it's an yeah. hour and a half, and it really okay. It felt like an hour and a half. It felt long, but still. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like mm -hmm. I, I like the, that's the few things I remember. They beat one of the fuckwits. I'm pretty sure they. Like, the whole thing about the end of season two was, like, this cave was stupid. Amelia had to go into the cave. She went into the cave. Yeah, there was a trial, so she had to, like, overcome the her trial. past. Do you remember the flashback where she had- she saw her mom and pedal geese or whatever? That, that's right. The trial. That was the whole- that was the whole thing with season yes. two. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then, like, yeah, Rem fell into a coma because of the whale or something, and everyone forgot who she is oh. except for Subaru. Why do we and yes. Yeah. So everyone still does not remember her. That's still That's correct, thing. but he does. So she is in the mansion. We see her briefly. Subaru goes and talks to her briefly, and it's like this really sweet thing where she he's like, I have so much to tell you about what happened today. And then we never see her again, but that's alright. Um Bruh. I can't believe they really did the best girl about that. I just fucking like like, hey, everyone. I should've done Sylphidora, my dumbass. Get- Everyone, forget this one girl. I know you'll love her, but get fucked. You have to love Amelia. <laughs> uh, Amelia- Amelia's great, don't get me wrong, but... Yeah, <clears throat> that, I just thought- I, I know that was definitely part of the original story. I just thought that was hilarious, just like, how everyone loves Rem, and then they're just like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, shit. Oh, I have a thingy. I'm not doing that. Who would die first? You. Um, no, yeah, it's- it- so what they're doing now is they're doing, like, the king selection, whatever? Something or- whatever it is. Um, oh, where there's, the like, royal selection, that's yeah, right. Yeah, that. Yeah. So they meet a yeah. bunch of the royal selection candidates and stuff. And uh, isn't that one chick that was in season one that the redhead knight saved? She's part of it as well? Who are you thinking of? I think. The chick w that stole from Amelia in like episode one. Are you thinking this of the small one, like the one? Yeah. Yes, the she's one. there. She is there. Yeah, I think she was one of the candidates because I remember the knight. I think Ryan Hart or whatever his name was, uh, saved her, and then yeah. he was all like, of those, Wait a minute. Yeah, Ryan Hart and all of the. They're all there. Ah, nice. All right, cool. Yeah, I will watch it. Like, I'm doing literally nothing tomorrow, so I'll probably <laughs> watch it tomorrow. We got a long weekend, do, so um, do, do I'm, 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 I'm gonna waste my weekend uh, chilling, being chilling. Don't tell you shouldn't tell me that watching anime is wasting your weekend. You'll make me feel bad. No, I mean, I mean, <laughs> wasting my Sunday. Or no, it's not wasting. I'm, just, yeah. I'm just casually spending the <laughs> Sunday that I have. You make me feel like nothing shit. much going on. No, no, don't. No, 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 um, no, 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 no. Um. Casually spending my Sunday in which I have nothing planned Fuck. watching some new anime since everything I was watching concluded. There you go. So, uh, yeah. Because ReZero, Blue Lock, and I'll probably choose one other thing. I can only. Uh, I think three anime at one key current time is like my sweet spot. So. Nice. I, uh, those two and something else. I have not finished VTuber. I don't know if I want- to, like, I, I just kind of lost interest in that very quickly. Um... We'll see. Well, no sense continuing it if you- if you don't like it. I... <laughs> put- I dropped that one maid show- like... Months ago, I was watching, uh, the maid I recently hired is Mysterious. And, like... I just stopped with two episodes left when that other maid mm -hmm. came in because it got really cringe for me. Mm. So, and then, like, just last week, I was like, fuck it, I'm just going to speed through the last two episodes because I was looking at my my anime list. I was like, I don't really want to leave that paused, so I'll finish it. And it's... It, meh. I don't give a fuck. 
It's 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 a very meh show. I'm getting my ass beat. Um. Yeah, we, I mean, we need the bottom, so that's not surprising. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry. Oi, had a nice. Had a moment. Had a moment. Um. <clears throat> but yeah, uh, yeah. I I I can't remember what I said about it when I reviewed it, but I'm pretty sure I agreed with you that it was just whatever that I didn't really care that much. Yeah. Right, if the, I can just get rid of this. The guy. actual uh, backstory for why <sighs> the maid wants to take care of the kid actually it gave, gave a lot of um, clarity to an otherwise very strange situation. Unlike uh, the uh, my wife has no emotion, which I uh, I did skip to because I saw your, it was small on your review. So yep. I was like, I'll quickly watch that, and then I'm going to watch the rest of it like, in whole. Um, <laughs> I agree. Like, the, the the part of, oh, she's a prototype, and she's meant to have more emotion because of that. It makes sense, but that doesn't dissuade from the fact that the premise is still a bit fucking odd. Yes, it's very weird. Um, and I feel the same <laughs> about the maid I recently hired as Mysterious. Because she's no longer Mysterious. We know why she's there. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? <laughs> but, so what, if there's a season two, what the fuck? What's well, gonna happen? She's not mysterious anymore. The maid I recently hired is... Um... A means big a lot loser. to me or something? I, I don't know. Cute. I don't know. And it's not recent either. Loser. Fuck! They're gonna have to change the whole name. Man, fuck this noise. I'm just sitting here getting my ass beat. Me on a casual Saturday morning getting my ass beat. <laughs> dude, dude, dude. Get a crit, Metis. Come on. Come on, Metis. Do something. Yeah, no, it's... It, Can that, you? That one... That one in particular... I was like... Are we sure, like... Is this really what we're going for here? What, my wife or the maid yeah, one? Yeah, the my my wife stuff. Just yeah, don't really... Yeah, yeah. Not really feeling it. Yeah, no, literally, it wasn't until... Like, I know <coughs> you said you didn't care for the for the baby sphere robot, but literally, if that little fucker wasn't introduced, I probably would have dropped it, because I don't know why, I just found him funny. I, 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 I can't explain why, I just found him funny. So, <laughs> it, yeah, it's just one Practical. of those things that, like... That's that's what happens. He's just he's just this little guy. He's just a little guy. Oh, parallel, par paralos, paralos is then, not the past tense of paralyzed, but I paralos him. Get fucked. You paralos him. Paralo paralosed him. Um, Rocky dying. Yeah, okay, it was just right? like <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> and they would just randomly explain what a thing is, and then. They would mention, oh, you could get Some hurt bitch. doing this, and he's just like, <gasps> should I go to the hospital? <laughs> I don't know why. Hey, that just got me every time. It just got me every time. I don't know why. There you go, Akiko. That's my boy. Um, that is you do it. Um, no, yeah, it's it. It's just it was just one of those things. Like there, there are a few things that like, uh in this anime season where I think they were like trying to be funny and I I think like I see the appeal of it like I see how it could be funny but just like for me personally it didn't it didn't land maybe I've seen too much too much garbage um nice yeah I think uh, after a while I think you would probably get a bit I, I'm surprised you haven't been burnt out yet Oh, like, I love this shit. You <laughs> I, sh mm. I love this <laughs> shit. I love just it just gives me a reason to like what the fuck? I'm getting notifications on my laptop. Um Yeah, it just gives me a reason to like see things that are bad and be like, damn, shit is bad. Uh Yeah. And it's it's fun. <laughs> That's so real. Um But yeah, like part of it is definitely like I, I like seeing what elements of a story 
I I get a, like I enjoy and what elements I don't. You know, like I, I like seeing how different shows get across what they're trying to do and how effectively they do that. Because, you know, it's always been something I have, like, wanted to try to, like, tell a story of some kind, whether that be, like, in a book or in a manga or something, you know? Um, honestly, I'd really love to do, like, a project where, like, I wrote a story and then someone does, like, a manga version of it. I would love to do that. Because um, I, I, I'm not someone who has the patience to <laughs> sit down and like write things out i'm really bad at yeah. that um uh, but i i like i like seeing what it's like dating right like it's almost i'm like anime dating i'm like going around to a bunch of different animes see what i like see what i don't like um and uh from there i can be i can like uh, pick and choose like oh I so if I include these elements it'll be a story I'm really happy with or whatever stuff like that yeah um nice you took that night on their half good um that's I've I've yeah I I I, I feel similarly but I'm gonna do a uh, not nowhere story. near to the extent of what you got going because like I I just get a uh, if I get real, if I really like an IP, like I get proper attached, and like yeah, after I, I a really while, it's just like there's only so many things I can really like latch onto. Like I'm, I'm kind of comfortable with the amount I have, but like that's why like I, I like free Ren, and I'm, I will start reading the manga, but I'm not like fully like fuck yeah, let's go all in balls deep, like unlike I am with Spice and Wolf. Right. So. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm, no. even now, like, I'm reaching the point where, especially for, like, I think I mentioned this, but, like, I'm not, I'm probably not going to go out of my, my way to collect a lot more new manga that are coming out, right? Like, I, I'm kind of, a lot of the stuff I already really, really like, I already have. So... I don't I can't I can't imagine there's a lot of new stuff that will come out in the future that I will get quite as attached to as what I have already. You know? Mm -hmm. Um and, and th in that sense, like this year has been a l and will continue to be for the next three months, like probably the the biggest year for anime, like on like a biggest calendar year, because for me, there was a lot of new stuff that came out this year that I was already familiar with because I either read the manga or I'd heard about it or whatever. Um, and this season is, like I said, the biggest one. Like I, even before we start recording, I was watching because I was packing a little bit. But I, I sat down and watched the first episode of Magic Lumiere, which is like one of my favorite manga that's been going for a couple of years now, and I, I fucking love it. It, like, it seemed like a big deal. Like they put way more effort into the anime than I thought they would. Um, and it, it was just, it, it's just great. Like, I don't think there will be another calendar year where there's just as many things that I already really like that will come out. Of course, there's still like Sakamoto days next year, which is a huge one, but you know, it's just not the same. Yeah. What do you, what can you do? Nothing. Nothing. Um, well, go, and going, and going back to that, like what we were saying before then about not wanting to drop everything and move across the country like Fuck. considering like so much of what you do is online like what what is stopping god you from damn moving? it oh god he blocked it <sighs> this guy's beefy that's fucking annoying um yeah Oh, I yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't what, even know why I would why I would do that. You know, like you're exactly right. Like, yeah, like what what is stopping you from just like all right, fuck it, moving around to a different state? I know you I got just family nearby. That's well, probably why, it's like, not even really that, but it's just it's just a huge pain. Like with the amount of times I've moved, just moving is such a massive pain. Like the only reason I would ever go to another state is because I got a job that I really really wanted. You know, like, I just... Yeah. There's just... Like, I... Even... I don't think necessarily it's because I was raised here, but I like Virginia a lot. Like, there's a lot of different mm -hmm. places I can go. Like, landscapes within just this state. 
like we have mountains, we have peaches, we have like flatlands and grasslands, we have farmlands, we like literally every kind, of, pretty much every kind of landscape you would actually want to be in, <laughs> we have. So I don't really feel the need to like go somewhere to another state that is not gonna be as nice because we have cold winters and we have hot summers like if I go somewhere else it's just gonna be either colder and I don't really want it to be colder than it already is but yeah uh, even then like I, I just like where I am now I just because my parents are probably gonna move uh, south in a few years because all three of all three of me and my brothers are out of the house now so it's probably it's only a matter of time before they move farther south because they don't like the cold. They're gonna move somewhere south, uh, more south where it's warmer, so and more consistently warm, I guess. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, like I'm probably just gonna stay around here, and and I also like it. It's just it, it's just a neutral. Like a lot of people around here are pretty are generally pretty nice, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, and I know some people around here it's just it's just not worth it to go somewhere else uh, at least right now no fair enough fair enough <clears throat> Fuck, why sense. did i do that why did i do that can i who would do because like for me like south australia is very similarly I, i've got everything set up and if i were to move it would probably be overseas <laughs> Like I right. know, all like all like just closer to the city from where I am now. But like mm -hmm. any big move, it would probably be overseas. Yeah, it's just not. It's just Australia, not so much uh, of a pain to move. Uh, yeah, yeah, nah. Australia is slowly getting better. Like we're slowly making improvements. Um, but there is still a lot that other countries have over us, which I would like to take advantage of and use. But um. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. Do, 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 now this this Neo Minotaur is a piece of shit. Well, he, we're getting close now. I'm gonna make sure he dies. Um, Kill yeah, Metis. No, it's 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 yeah. It's just so not worth it to move more than I need to. Which is why I'm kind of glad that I think I'll probably like even if I don't end up like actually paying off the mortgage on the on the new place like i will be able to sell the next place i have and move somewhere more comfortable where i might actually stay so uh and it, the other thing is like not that i'm you know about to <laughs> count my uh count my blessings or anything but like if i were to settle down with somebody like, if I were to all of a sudden want to move somewhere, that could just, like, destroy the relationship that we had, that we, yeah. that we would have. It, it just seems like such a pain. So I don't really want to, like, mm -hmm. get, get all, get all upsy, uppity about, like, moving somewhere if I'm not sure about it. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's fair enough, absolutely. You know, well, you never know. Yeah. Like... You're not going to turn around in your house and someone's going to appear, but you never know. When you're out in a bookstore, you might bump into someone. Who knows? Who knows? That's the dream, I suppose. Ideally, it's like uh, once I have more time to do other things besides, besides sit in my room and go to bookstores. Hopefully that time will come. Uh, but we'll see. <clears throat> Well, once you Not, get caught up and have over a thousand books, then you're gonna be like, "Damn, all right." Won't be anytime soon, that's for sure. Uh, mm. Yeah, I mean that's that's it. Like it's just gonna be like, man, I have way too much shit. Honestly, half my stuff is like books. <laughs> so. Yeah, no. <laughs> you gotta you gotta make extra space for that shit. You gotta get extra shelves and all that for your yeah, new place. I do. My rent is going down from 500 a month to the $100 a month for the uh, the storage unit I got, so I'll be able to save some money. That's high. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, because I don't know when. However I'm able to temporary get a new place. that may be, that is pretty high. <laughs> yeah, right. Um. 
yeah, no, it's 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 good. There there are a couple places I I've seen that I like, um, so hopefully I'll be able to actually secure one of those places. The biggest thing is just getting a loan because I've never gotten a mortgage before, so it'd be hard for some like the lenders to be like, oh sure, let's 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 give this kid a loan. For a house. Do you not, have any? Do you have any sort of credit score? Well, yeah, obviously I I have over seven fifty, but I don't I've know never, what that means. It means I have like top notch credit score, essentially. Okay, um, good. Yeah, because I, I I know of credit scores. I don't know what a good credit score is. Um, is like, well, yeah, I mean, I, I, like I've had I, a, a credit I'll card for like one. five years, but like, uh, yeah, that that's not, you know, my credit card. The max I've paid off on a month on my credit card is like nine hundred dollars, and I'm about to be loaned like a hundred and forty thousand. <laughs> so, yeah, big, big difference. Big difference. <clears throat> but yeah, like I'm trying to get somewhere that like in in the ideal scenario, someone could move in with me, and I would still have enough space to do the things I need to do. Come on, baby. I got big uh, bedroom. I got spare room. I got... This is my anime room. Don't go in this room. Unless you like anime. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to read fucking loads of books. Uh, that is the one thing. It's like, it's it, like how okay... What kind of partner do I need to have for them to be like... To walk into a room and be surrounded by manga and anime figures and they'll be like, Oh, hell yeah. Instead of you. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know, bro. What's the, what's the limit? <laughs> like, who 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 is out there? Just take a photo of one of the shelves and be, just show them and be like, "What do you think?" Well, you got to do that in the first five minutes of meeting them. Like, what do you think? Yeah. And like, yeah, that's pretty epic. Listen. All right, good. Yeah, this I literally, continue. literally, <laughs> like, I had another first date kind of recently, and she hasn't texted me back. It's like the gazillionth time that's happened. Uh, and I'm tired Damn. of it. I'm so tired of it. Cause like it literally went well. Like like we were texting after the date, and then like I was like, you know, the whole tell me when you get home safe and that all of that garbage, and we were texting after that, and then since then nothing. I'm like I'm so done. I can't deal with this. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's um, it burns when that happens. It's, it's doesn't feel good. Makes me angry. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna ghost me, at least just tell me what I did wrong, so I can learn from it. Uh, they they got their own. They don't want to bother with that. They got yeah, fuck you. Man. <laughs> they got their own lives. Well, that was like but, the, you know I was like, she was she told me she was like oh I I play uh I play I play like uh fucking what is it Apex Legends or whatever, and like and. She she was a gamer and she was like, "What kind of games do you like?" And I'm like, "I really like you know long RPGs and stuff. Those are my those are my favorites. Like I've I've been playing Persona recently." And she's like, "Oh, I love Persona." And I'm like, "You serious? Are you fucking serious High right five. now?" Nice. Um, and uh, fuck, like so, and we didn't even talk that much about Persona or anything. Like we were just talking about other things, and then. Even that, like, it seemed like it was going fine. Like, we had a fun conversation, and then she just nothing. I'm just gonna be angry about it. Yeah. Um. But yeah, oh that well. ju it's it just that's just. I can't. I don't know why, but it, that's what happens. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It's very annoying. That's the thing, though. You would always like that. That's happened to me numerous times, where it's just like. Hey, it's it's looking good, and then it doesn't go good. And like, there's only been like one girl that I've dated uh, that's actually like given me a reason, and the reason was just I'm not really feeling it. And I'm like, oh, right, okay, that's at least something. Yeah. <laughs> like, Thank right, you for telling me. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, exactly. Because like, being ghosted sucks. That like, yeah, it really does. I know that I I have been on intentionally not ghosting but like i usually respond to people fairly quickly through messages but lately it's been taking me like a few days <laughs> yeah, like, i've got so much other fucking shit going on 
So, yeah, like, I get that, but, yeah, you, you, you would at least like to know. Yeah. Like. Okay, so we're down. I don't think I have enough Twilight Fragments. Oh, I do! Oh, I because I picked up a bunch on recent floors. Oh, cool, antimatter cannon. Oh. Finally. Beefy. A bigger cannon, finally. Thank you. Godspeed shoes. Ah. All right, bud. You ready to travel like Godspeed, Sonata? Run like a Better unequip those nutmeg. when I fight you. Dingwad. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's just, uh, yeah, that's so real. Unequip all their shit when you go to fight them. Get fucked, losers. All right, I I believe oh, there's only on. I believe there's only one more boss, one more mini boss, and then we're done. Sweet. So another like ten floors or so. <clears throat> yeah. Um. I finally I played a bit more Persona Five, and I'm finally like a bit more beyond where I left off when I was playing it at your place. Mm -hmm. Um. Like we took that asshole. The, 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 the brain, the, the crown from the dickhead, and he's taking some time off because he uh, realizes. Because uh, what is it? Like you're taking away their mask or something and helping them realize like their mistakes. I guess I, I think that's what's happening. But we did that for the, we finished the teacher. Okay, and so he's you, fucked you off finished for a the while. first palace, is what you're saying. Yes, I finished the first. I finished the first palace, and I'm kind of like. All right, now, now I've got like, what, 10 days to just fuck around? And I'm like, okay, I might go riz up Takami. Like, I, I don't know what else I'm, I, I'm curious what else I'm gonna do. Like, cause I know I, I should do a little bit of like grinding for all my stats. Like uh, everything there, like get the stars up. But I don't know. I'm just trying to figure out what to do now. Yeah. Whatever I want. Pretty much whatever you want. That's, that's literally it. Who's this guy? Alright. Yeah, Alright. Yeah, talk to me. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. Uh, isn't she the fucking death confidant as well? I think so, yes. <laughs> I would let her experiment on me as much as she wants. No, she gave me drugs then one time and I was like, I'm locked in. Alright, <laughs> I'm ready. <clears throat> I don't need you anymore. It's a pleasure. <laughs> Teamwork has won the day. Okay. All right, let's keep that up. Oh yeah. Even if you, uh, I know you watched uh, my original Tekken Eight gameplay. I did. Uh, dude, it gets even more fucking Stop, stupid in the bitch, DLC. Uh, I don't doubt it. Definitely. Definitely check it. The the explanation for Heihachi surviving is just so fucking dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Who? What, what so happened? Was he the one that died in the volcano? Yeah. So in, yeah, he was the one in Tekken Seven. Like Kazuya punched him in the, I know in the chest so 7. hard his heart stopped, and then threw him into a volcano. And you just see the you don't see him. See the, oh my god! Someone on Twitter actually said this years ago. He you never see him hit. The lava, but you see him falling towards it, and I can't believe it. They were right. You never saw them hit the lava. Oh, They're fuck. real for that. But um, yeah, there's a reason for that. So yeah. But what what, ha what happened to father. him in, in Tekken Eight? Because I don't know anything about Tekken Seven. Was he there? No. He, so Heihachi. Hey everyone thought Heihachi was just missing in Tekken Eight because Tekken Eight is six months after Seven. Oh, okay. Um, so for uh, all well, they knew, it was is that Heihachi was missing because Kazuya isn't going to publicly say, "Yeah, I killed him." Sure. No, he doesn't really give a shit. So yeah, he was just proclaimed missing, and the DLC kind of runs in conjunction to the main story, uh, explaining what these DLC characters and Heihachi were doing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, and there, there was a re he he is survived. He's not a clone or anything fucking stupid. He lived, which is annoying. But they've done this before. Like the first few Tekken games was nothing but Kazuya and Heihachi just killing each other, but they didn't die. Like it's <laughs> nice. So bringing that back is fucking hilarious. 
Because I think the order is... <laughs> Heiachi dropped Kazuya off a cliff when he was a kid. He climbed back up. He... Uh, then Kazuya beat Heiachi, dropped him off a cliff. Then Heiachi, later on, Heiachi beat Kazuya, dropped him into a volcano. But he survived because of the devil gene and this, um, like, science laboratory group called G Corp uh, revived him. So that there was actually a bit of, like, a bit of an, a, re a reasonable understanding for him surviving that. I mean, like, okay, cool. Uh... Then there was an exp he actually survived an explosion. And... Jesus. Yeah. Now we're up to this point where he was dropped into a volcano again. Like, well, Heihachi dropped into a volcano. The guy with no special powers dropped into a volcano. Well, who but was no, the guy that got dropped into the volcano at the end of Tekken 8, then? Yes. Uh... No one fell into a volcano at the end of Tekken 8. Well, then what happened to... Like, there was that big fight... Wasn't it by a volcano? The no, final fight in no, Tekken 8? Jin, Jin and Kazuya fought on a meteorite in space, and then they fell back down to Earth. Yeah. And fought next to a river, like a big ocean. Uh, uh, Reina, got, Reina got hit by a massive fucking beam by Kazuya, and then that awakened her devil gene, which is why she turned into a devil at the end. Mm. Uh, yeah, no one fell into a volcano. Damn. All right. Yeah, it's all fucked. It's all stupid. Yeah, that's, that's the whole point of fighting games. Have a stupid ass plot, give them more reason to fight each other. And yeah, it's ridiculous, but that's the joy of it. I guess so. I just, I wish Heihachi was still dead though. They, like, come on, let Reyna be his successor. Why do you need to bring him back? Whatever. Doesn't matter. He's back. Who gives a fuck? That is where we're at. God damn it. But yeah, watch that, people. Definitely. It's probably going to be way old by the time this comes out, but it doesn't matter. Watch it anyway. Oh, fuck. What's this? God's sake! God damn it, son of a bitch. Oh, good. Damn, I didn't know both of you got Heat Riser off. Uh. <clears throat> um. I mean, I'm... Ooh. You got I these fellas. Could have been better. Um Nice. Metis, you gotta keep doing that. Keep living. It's very helpful. Um Yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about the context of Heihachi dying, because I literally only know anything about Tekken 8. And even then I don't I I, I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> I know. I just that, saw yeah. it happen. That, 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 I mean, there's not a lot of context, it's just... The only reason I give a fuck is because... The whole point of Tekken 7... Like, it, it was... Ballparked as the Mishima saga ends here. And they made a big deal about... Either Kazuya, Kazuya or Heihachi is going to die. Like, they made a big point about that. And they wrapped up the story very neatly for Heihachi and almost made him like an anti-hero because mm. despite all the evil shit he's done, he just wants to stop his evil son who's got the devil inside of him. So like they wrapped up his story incredibly well and he's old as fuck as well. He's been he, like, he's been around since the start. So when he, you know, his heart literally stopped at the end of Tekken 7 and then was dropped into a volcano. That was kind of like the perfect send-off. Like, you didn't need to do anything more with him. Like, his story was concluded. But then they were like, ha 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 ha. We're gonna bring him back anyway. 
So that, that's the only reason I think it's fucking stupid, because they actually gave him a good send off. But no. They brought him back. Damn. They do be like that. Don't you hate it when s satisfying conclusions get ruined by, uh, I assume, greed? Like, they might have a plan for, like, <laughs> just thought of, making uh, hit. Just thought of Triple H and Shawn Michaels at Crown Jewel. Oh. Yeah. That's so real. <laughs> so, yeah, fuck that. That <laughs> never happened. What are you, no, what are you, no, what are you no, talking no. about? Wait, that never true. happened. True, true, true. Yeah. Yeah, now nah, you're crazy. Um. <laughs> yeah, it, it, I don't know. They, they, I don't know why they did it. Because some people were like, oh, they're bringing Heihachi back for money. But, no, like, I'm ultimately sure Tekken 8 sold better than most, if not all, the other Tekken games. Mm. So they didn't need the money. It was just kind of... And, and they're, tr they're trying to tie it back into the plot. They literally... Uh, I don't want to spoil it, like, for those who... Watch the video. I want people to watch the video, because it's a decent video, I think. But, um, yeah, it's... I don't know. They're trying to tie it back in, and it's pointless. I don't know why they would bother. It's stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Alright, kill! Good. Alright. Well, now I know slightly more about Tekken lore than I did before. I half contemplated doing, like, a dumb... Uh, man poorly explores... T uh, explains Tekken lore in three minutes. Like, style video. I, I, I might actually do that as a joke, because I can ramble about it very quickly in sequential order. <laughs> so I might I might do that. I'll do it just for you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> then I'll I'll have I'll have three minutes more worth of uh knowledge. Th yeah. Um. Th three minutes to understand over twenty uh, thirty over thirty years of Tekken video game lore. You will hear Thank it all God. in three minutes. <laughs> Uh, these random ass fights are getting too drawn out for my liking. Uh, yeah, when all the fights are like similar to boss battles, that shit sucks. Yeah. Oh well, that's what I asked for. Um, oh, I don't know anything about these guys. That's fine though. I'll just punch him. How do you fucking get HP when I just punched you? That's that's impossible. That's impossible. Alright. I'm gonna use Orgia mode on you guys. See how you like it. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Eat all of it. Um, all of the Orgia mode. Oh, that's right. That's what else I was- I don't have- I only have so much time left. Can I, uh... Can I indulge myself in a bit of, uh, Jujutsu Kaisen talk? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 I've, ma I've made it known that I don't give a fuck beyond like i watched season one i watched the movie and i was kind of like yeah sweet but it's i know it gets even more fucking batshit and i'm kind of like i don't know the the, the real that that sort of dark fantasy style that's less appealing to me than other dark fantasy things i've seen so i might just tune out so if you want to talk spoilers fucking go for it <laughs> all right um so yeah, I, I did I did say on Twitter that I was gonna do that. Um, oh god damn it, we're all fucking enraged now. Christ alive. Um, I might die here. Uh, <laughs> but um, so yeah, Jujutsu Kaisen ended, and a lot of people are not happy about it, which is always funny because people people get way too fucking overblown about nothing. Uh, in when it comes to shonen stuff uh mm -hmm. people are like way too upset about it like it is very funny because the jujutsu kaisen ending really wasn't that bad um and but essentially it boils down to like it just it just wasn't it just was like it's so confusing for no reason uh Right. I'm trying to think while I'm observing this battle that I'm about to lose. Um. <laughs> oh, okay. Can we. 
Are we just not gonna heal from rage? Is that just is that just what's happening? Are we just not gonna recover from that? Nah, never. <sighs> um, yeah, if I get tempest slash, I'm I'm done. Uh, I mean, Medish is going off. Yeah. Uh, um, she's popping off and she's deactivating. Oh, Great. okay, good. Um, we're we're covered. Okay, thank fuck. Um, thank you, Yukari. I love you. The so basically. Uh, what what Jujutsu Kaisen does is there has to be like logic to everything and it's really unfortunate um, because it tries to, like a lot of the rules with the curse technique stuff are so confusing and can be altered in any which way you want them to uh. so mm -hmm. because there's like a curse technique can, in theory, be like anything, and there's all kinds of rules surrounding that. But besides, like domain expansion, which again can also be anything, and aren't sometimes aren't even necessarily related to the curse technique stuff. There's like simple domain as an extension of that. There's binding vows. There's goddamn can't miss. There's a, a gajillion things in Jujutsu Kaisen that they have to like logically like explain and while these like super intense fights are going on there's like these boxes of text in the manga that are like literally take pages that just explain exactly like what's going through these characters minds like what is happening with their curse techniques and it really just disrupts the flow of the fights it's it's not fun to read it's mm. not engaging because i'm not i don't understand what's going on um so it's it's frustrating in that sense but it is kind of like looking back on it it's almost kind of amusing in a way just because that is so much of what happened like so much of it was just genuinely like <laughs> explaining away these like these bulls i need to heal them god damn it um explaining away random bullshit that doesn't you know it doesn't really mean anything and like a lot of it is uh, the thoughts they have are relatively inconsequential so it, it's and there's a lot of characters introduced post what happens in season two of like in it's an, like past the events of season two in the manga that don't really end up playing a role in everything and it's so funny because the the end, like, the final thing of Jujutsu Kaisen, as you would imagine, is, uh, them fighting Sukuna. It's a big all-out brawl against Sukuna. And, yeah. my god, everybody dies. Like, so many people die in that fight. It's ridiculous. Um, and they bring in Damn. all kinds of characters from that maybe appeared, like, one time it, the, the big thing that I think is hilarious it's like they bring in these random characters that we might have seen like one time before that do like one thing and then Sakuna knocks them out and in addition to that half of those chapters where those guys do something there's a flashback to like this big meeting they had before they went and fought Sakuna where they're theoretically planning everything out. They're like, well, if this thing happens, then we should respond in this way. If in the worst case scenario and Sakuna summons Maharaga by doing whatever, like it it's, makes it seem like they accounted for all the scenarios when in actuality, it just seems like the author is just making shit up on the fly. <laughs> um, yeah. So... It's it's amusing in that sense, uh, <laughs> and of course there's the meme. You, you've seen the meme of like Gojo saying, "Nah, I'd win." Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. that is the the origination of that, like the where that stemmed from, is of course the very first chapter where Yuji asks Gojo. He says, "If Sukuna had all twenty fingers or whatever, all ten, whatever, all ten appendages back, and you fought." Would you lose? Would you lose against Sakuna, even though you're the strongest guy? And he said, nah, I'd win. Gojo is the uh -huh. first one to fight Sakuna, and it's like the only time it's ever a one-on-one -on -one fight between someone else and Sakuna. And Gojo gets his... He gets... He dies. He just actually dies and doesn't come back. Um, so... Wait. <laughs> so he was lying. Yeah, so he, yeah. he gets his ass beat. There, there was a... Uh, 
there's a caveat to that because Sukuna had summoned Maharaga. So what actually happens? This is this is actually a pretty big deal. But before the big fight against Sukuna, what actually happens is Sukuna jumps from he start he jumps from Yuji's body into Fushiguro's body. So Yuji, which, one, which one's wait, which one? Megumi, Megumi, the spiky-haired boy, uh, Yuji's friend. Oh. Um, yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the second, like the secondary guy who had like the domain expansion with the wolves and shit. Um, That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So he jumps into Megui's body, and there's this big thing that happens in the events of season two in the Shibuya incident arc where uh, Megumi summons Maharaga. It's like a Shigami or like this ultimate beast or whatever that has the ability to like counter attacks and like not take any damage essentially. And so now that mm -hmm. you or Sukuna had flipped into Megumi's body, he had summoned Maharaga and used that to counter Gojo's abilities. So that's why Gojo ended up getting his ass beat. Um, but uh. that was like the, the, the key point of it. But it was also just funny because <laughs> so much of that, like Gojo's ability is nonsense. Like if you actually think about it, like the infinity crap and like, like what, like there's just no limit to what he can do. Like, because it Go it Gojo has the type of ability where you could just make something up, right? And he would like, oh yeah, Gojo yeah. can do Gojo can do that. Yeah, of course he's Gojo. Um, and then he still gets his ass beat. <laughs> like, and, and half See, of even though they've 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 given him so many made up abilities that he can theoretically do anything. Like right. the power scaling is just so absurd that. They've made it seem like he's fucking invincible, but just for him to get bodied by Sakuna. Yeah, just just for him to like, get fucking obliterated. It, it, it's the sh the shock factor he's going. The author's going yeah. for there. Yeah, it totally is. It can get absurd. Shit like that can get absurd. <laughs> like, like honestly, I thought like now that I'm thinking about it, I've realized that I'm like I'm looking back on what happened in Jujutsu Kaisen. I'm just like clueless. I'm like I'm drawing a blank. I'm like, what even happened? Like, I don't even think I can recall. What happened to the dude from the movie? Did he ever show up in the Oh, this, Utah? In the yeah, so there's a big... So the big thing that happens uh, at the very end of season two is... Um, it, it's like a big twist, that it, a big cliffhanger that season two leaves off on. Um, but essentially, there's a point in season two Jujutsu Kaisen where Sukuna takes over Yuji's body. He has like the one minute time limit or whatever um but does a fuckload of damage to the city by using his own like using sukuna's domain expansion and so like the jujutsu uh higher ups essentially uh level that charge like the the charge of the destruction of the city onto yuji and they sentence him to execution and they send yuta after yuji to kill him as his executioner so the two main characters oh. are now like on, in theory, on opposite sides, uh, so it's this big old cliffhanger. Does 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 he still have his uh, his, his uh, childhood friend as his oh, fucking God, yeah. evil yes, thing? Yes, yes. That's he, that being e actually evil. That's so. Oh, that's funny. I actually almost want to watch that. Just that part. Like well, it hasn't been. Being, it's not in the anime yet, but um. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever it does, well, if it does get, I'm sure it will. Yes. Uh, animated. I, I want to watch that because that was one part of the movie where I was just like, okay, as fucking stupid as this is, that that concept and th how fucking crazy <laughs> that bitch is, like the way that monster fucking crazy bitch, that's sick. So, I mean, okay, if, if they're going to fight the good guys, I kind of want to watch that. <laughs> yeah. That does happen. I I, be, I do believe that that happens. There is there's a, a moment where Yuji has to deal with that. Um, but yeah, it's uh Sweet. it's very wild. Okay, I'm paralyzed with fear, of course. Yeah, um, uh, look, I understand from an author's perspective mm -hmm. of just making shit up until you get somewhere. Yeah, but making shit up and then not trying to make it make sense. Uh, you, you kind of need to go back and well, that's, well, that's the thing. He tried guy. too hard to make it make sense, and it just ended up being convol like not all the way there. You know? Yeah. Um, See, I, I've uh, I personally have thought of 
different abilities that, like, for Zane, for example, will get later on down the line. And I have thought of the ways he will get there. And I would like to think for the rules of the book, of the, of the world I've made, that it won't be too absurd. But, yeah, like, having that fucking thing at the bottom, trying to explain everyone's internal thoughts during a massive battle... Fucking yeah, it's, it's tough. What's the po that's that's a bit much. Tough to tough to keep stay engaged. And I once saw some guy put out a tweet that's like, if you don't understand the power scaling in Jujutsu Kaisen, you're just an idiot. <laughs> and I'm like, are you sure about that? Explain it, buddy. Yeah. Because honestly, he, like, because hon honestly, like, I it. feel like so many people, like. For so many people, Jujutsu Kaisen is like the only thing they've ever read. <laughs> you know? Um, right. It's kind of the same for One Piece. Like, I I, I don't get involved with either discourse regarding either manga. But, like, I feel like so often people who contribute to that, like, discourse and put things on Twitter, like, they've never read another manga other than that. And I'm just like, you guys look like idiots. Um, yeah. So you guys need to chill the fuck out and touch some grass. That's the appropriate moment to go touch some grass. Yeah, real. Shut the fuck up, dude. So, but it's it's ridiculous. The end. So so the ending. Just what a fuck ton of people died and they beat Sakuna. Like some some of well, them yeah, beat Well, yeah. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. Like they Yuji is the one who ends up beating Sakuna. Of course. Like that's just storytelling one one. But um. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but it just kind of happens randomly with like a black flash, you know, like the most normal ass way to defeat Sukuna, basically. Um, right. So, and that's fine. Like black flash is fucking cool. Like there's no doubt about that. But um, the the ending. So okay. So the big th other thing that I think is worth mentioning regarding Jujutsu Kaisen is that um. So in see in the events of season two, uh, the girl Nobara is taken out. So she's kind of like MIA for a very long time, uh, and it's unclear whether she's dead or not. So uh -huh. in like the last five or so chapters, she comes back, uh, and a, we were pretty much most of us were convinced that she was dead for real. Uh. Like, she just wasn't going to come back. There was no plan for her to come back. So, during the Sukuna fight, she helps with, like, one thing. She, uh, like... And she doesn't actually get involved with Sukuna. She just uses her, like, synchronizing ability or whatever to help from, like, the Jujutsu headquarters. <laughs> like, in, in the terms of the story, she literally woke up while the Sukuna fight was happening and was just like, All right, I'm gonna help. What can I do? <laughs> Um, I better do something here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, that was the thing. I, I remember when we were recording Legends Arceus, there was a big spoiler that I mentioned. That was the big spoiler. It was everywhere when it first happened. Um, that she woke up. Yes, that she was back and that she was alive. Yeah. Uh, so, because uh. I legitimately believed she would not come back. Um, so, but... <sighs> And it, so the so the actual ending I thought was fine because literally what it is is just a lot of what happened in like season one of Jujutsu Kaisen. Like it ends with like a very small, insignificant mission that the three main characters go and do, and like they're just like because the cursed spirits like it's not like eliminating Sukuna got rid of cursed spirits as a whole. They're they're still around, but so they're still. So the main three characters are still going to, like, take care of missions like that. Um, but that's it. Like, and that was what I wanted to see more of, you know? Because I thought a lot the three main characters had a really good thing going on. And then Nobara got taken out in Season 2 in the big Shibuya incident arc. So that couldn't even happen anymore. And then they started the Cullen game, which is a, a whole nother mess. Um, yeah, it's it's... It's wild. I'm. It's bizarre looking back on it, because um, I can't even begin to tell you the rules of the Culling game. It's just this thing that starts up 
that the big antagonist like starts up out of nowhere and uh Look, it's really insane ow um yeah see that was kind of <clears throat> yeah okay it is yeah just bat shit to the point of yeah and and that's the thing oh, like jujutsu oh, kaisen is really cool fights but a lot of the time like i have a hard time bringing myself to like care because a lot of the times they involve characters that i've like never seen or whatever like that's why i think in the when it they get animated it'll just be like ah, ha ha turn my brain off i can just watch these people fight it'll be funny i think there's appeal there but like as a manga when half the time they're just talking about curse techniques and shit it's completely like disengaging there's only a handful of fights that actually are like involve characters we know and are like pretty engaging uh, after the events of season two, because the events of season two are peak. Don't yeah, don't don't tell mm. me that it, a lot of it is just like, oh my cursed domain can do this. Oh yeah, well my cursed domain can do this, and then they like go head to head. No, like, no, no, no. It's a lot comp more complicated than that. Um, it's more. Is it, so is it more talking than that? Like, oh god, yeah. It's way more. <laughs> Because that's what pisses me off about any anime or manga or light novel fight scene. It's just them <sighs> talking so much during the fighting. Just stop fucking talking. Just do the fighting. Like, that's why I, I, I prefer if it's just like, if at least one of the characters, we understand their rules and moves at least a little bit before the fight. And then we see the fight play out, and maybe there's like one or two sentences thrown back and forth for clarity. But like, I don't, that's, I fucking despise just long drawn out conversations in the middle of, an, of a meant to be intense fight. And that happens all the time. Yep. <clears throat> Fuck me. Yeah, I, I would, at, at some point, maybe if, 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 I, if I get a chance, I'll like find a chapter that I'm like as an example that I'm talking about and I like send you a link that you'll be able to see so you can just you can just scroll through and see exactly what I'm talking about it'll be like characters yeah. you've never seen before just having this fight and you know one guy will be like well uh, I my curse technique is a is a slot machine where I like if I roll this thing then this attack will come out but if I roll this thing I'll hurt myself and then the other guy is just like I don't know some fucking weird guy with long hair and like does nothing I don't know it's weird as shit <laughs> okay <clears throat> yeah I'm down because uh, uh, it, yeah it's, it's, I don't know if you noticed with my book I try to avoid the conversations in fights. I just want the fights to happen. Yeah. I don't want them to pull. Well, I mean, I, I agree. With, I agree with you because, like, for, like, I think there is a place for that kind of, like, to, to like, go through a, a lot of characters thinking because a lot of times wh who they're fighting is not someone who can be taken out easily or without a strategy, right? And a lot of times they adapt on the fly. So I think there is a place for that kind of thing. And as long as it like is congruent and makes sense with what we know about each of the characters, I think it's fine as long as it doesn't drag for too long or whatever. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think there's a place for it, but yeah, you didn't have th that many fights and they weren't that long. So uh, I'm not- No gonna... reason for them to talk too yeah, much during the exactly. fights. Exactly. Because there were short fights, yeah. I'm gonna. F I thought I could do like wars and sh Oh, here we go. Shit, I was on the wrong thing. Here well, we go. Well, that's just it. It looks like I, I better make a long, drawn out fight and have only like two conversations in it. That's the goal. <laughs> yeah, real. <laughs> I'm gonna get a bunch of these. Um, yeah, we have a deal. Topaz. Uh, I don't need a topaz though. Fierce. I like that. Uh huh. Made a lounge gem. Ooh. I don't care that much, but. Oh, I need these. I really like these. We have a deal. How many? Did we have a deal? Um. Homunculus. Let's go. Um, mm, just forget me. 
Ooh, I want. Well, I have a lot of those. Um, but yeah. No, Jujutsu Kaisen is oh, yeah. crazy. I've, uh, Chainsaw Man's weirder, <laughs> but hey, I don't even I don't even want to get into that. Worth watching though. Oh God, yeah. Oh, the the first part of yeah. Chainsaw Man is peak. Yeah. Um, but, well, okay, that's a lie. I don't I don't particularly like enjoy Chainsaw Man style. Like I much prefer the Black Clovers and the Eden Zeros of the world, but the the way like it's animated by Mappa who do Jujutsu Kaisen as well. Like. The first, yeah. like, 97 chapters of Chainsaw Man are proper really good. Um, I absolutely worth watching. I think it's fantastic. Um, yeah. So, if I don't know if you've seen uh, Dondodon yet, but it's the same kind of, like, chaos. They're, they are the I same, saw, like, the same kind I of chaos. I saw, like, I saw, like, someone upload, like, a 30-second clip. It was fucking weird. On a, on a Twitter, what was uh, it? I think it was Don to Don. It was like Don to Don is fucking weird. Yes, yeah, it was like these three grotesque motherfuckers trying to do something to this one chick, and she was in her underwear. And then she Correct. Like, yes, that's Don to Don. Yeah, and then she like drops her phone, and then like a giant thing crawls out of it. Yes, and like yep, yeah, Don to Don is fucking. Like, I I massively <laughs> prefer Don to Don. It because the first episode is meant. Like, that first chapter, or first episode in this case, is meant to be insane. It's meant to just completely catch you off guard in every situation. So, like, if you had known what had led up to that, like, if you'd known the context of what happened, I, it would make a lot more sense. Because nothing really yeah. happens to the girl. Like, she actually doesn't... And, and But it's... it Donadon is infinitely more fun than Chainsaw Man, in my opinion. I fucking love it. Yeah, see, seeing that thing mm -hmm. fucking explode at the phone, I'm like, well, she'll be okay. Yeah. Because then I think the clip ended there. But, um... Yes. Well, that was her friend. That's yeah. her pal. Coming out of the phone. Her pal. Nice. Good pal. Good friend. Yeah, he's I a, think. He's a lad. I hope. <laughs> I, 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 I hope so. He's, I hope he's a good guy. He's a lad. Um, he's real. Um... Because those three other things were a bit fucking... Uh... Odd looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they don't trust what they were gonna do. Yeah, no, like, they got out like some weird penis-like thing, and they were like, "We will now have sex." That is what happened. Come back soon. Ew. Yeah, they tried to rape her. Yeah, it is yucky. Yeah, it's fucked up. But that's the point. A lot of Donna Don is kind of fucked up. But so is Chainsaw Man. Ah, uh, that is the point. A I lot of it is intentionally fucked up. I was gonna up. kind of like fucking steal my resolve for things with fucked topics like that. Well, that's why I couldn't get into Goblin Slayer, even though it was just the first episode that featured that fuck shit. Like, that's why that's just, I just I couldn't stomach it. I was like, nah. Well, I mean, for, dude, I just, that that 30 second clip you saw, that is as bad as it gets. Yeah, good. It never gets Fair any enough. worse than that. Um, so... Then I will probably put up with it and fucking I'll watch it at some point. I do need I do need a third show with ReZero and Blue Lock. Would you to watch at one point? Do you think Dandadan should be it? I would love to say yes, but I don't know if it's your thing. Um, well, I could start watching it, and if I don't yeah. enjoy it, if you like don't the if you show, don't like the first episode, it only gets crazier. Like it doesn't get any like weirder, right? Like it doesn't. There's no more, like, near rape scenes or anything like that, but it does, it gets batshit crazy, but in a good way. It is the kind of thing where the fights do not have the text, like, the ongoing dialogue or whatever. They just fight, and it's it, insane. Oop. It is the best kind of chaos. Would you still... Okay, would you, would you say, like, same sort of stupidity as, like... As a Jujutsu Kaisen, or is it actually a bit more comprehensible? Like, it's not I wouldn't even call it comprehensible because I don't think it, it's just the it's just absolute fucking insane chaos but it's all like you can follow what's happening like obviously you understand what's going on but it just like evolves quickly and insanely in ways you're not expecting and it gets great like I think the dialogue in in Don to Don is fantastic like the characters are really well established so like you kind of know what you're gonna get but it just, it just gradually, like, not even gradually, like, it fucking, the way it builds upon its, 
what it, what it's got is insane. Like, <laughs> but in a good way, in a very very good way. Like it just always catches you off guard. You like never have too long to like rest, um, and take it slow. But that's in the best way. Like in the in the nicest way I can say that. Like that is how it is. Um, okay. It right. it is intentionally made uh, that I'll... way. Okay, I will make it the third show then. I do need a. Like, that will probably be my thing tomorrow. I, oh, I it's need to, like, fantastic! And stuff, and it, but, looks, like, that, it looks it looks unbelievably good. Yeah, I saw like I mean, look, the animation looked fluid. Like it has a unique style to it. Oh, it's fantastic! Like, it looks pretty cool. It's fucking awesome. <clears throat> if you don't, no if, if you're that. not feeling Don to Don, I <laughs> yeah, it, it probably is not your thing. Don to Don might be uh, what spice and wolf is for me to you if that makes sense okay um it, it'd be like it's not quite my thing but you might find enjoyment out of it it just depends on what you're feeling um yeah so uh but if you're not feeling that watch blue box on netflix blue box blue box is right. on it, I haven't seen the first episode yet, but that's that's the romance manga about the uh, basketball and badminton that I recommended to you a while ago. Oh, that's ago. the badminton one. Yeah, that is. Okay. It looks unbelievably good. It is a rom. It's a romance manga. I think it's fantastic. Oh. Oh, hello. Is this the deepest part I thought there was gonna be one more time? boss. You think so? How deep are we? Yeah, real. The spiral? Uh. 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 They had to have something as low as Tartarus is high. It's like Newton's third law. Yeah. Oppos equal and opposite reaction, etc. And they're like, haha, get fucked, there are shadows there. There's a shitload of shadows here. And if it Way to go, Junpei. Along with Tartarus, then why are we standing in it? S we get Nobody it, they were knows. fucking wrong, dog. Alright, that's a good one. Okay, yeah, no what? Good one. No, their logic makes sense. But some kind of force what logic? It from vanishing. So the other side's disappearance caused an imbalance. Yeah, and how do you know that? Maybe it's down here somewhere, but one thing's for certain. I mean, I have a, I have an answer, but. Yeah. Okay. okay yeah. <laughs> we do to deserve this? Uh, exist. There's another door. If it is down here, then maybe. Did that just appear, or were they staring at it the whole time? They were staring at it. Yeah. Fuck. Who could it be? Gotta be someone else with a reason for their power, right? Well, there's no point wasting time thinking about it. It's literally right there. Yeah, it's like two steps Let's away. Open it. Then we'll know. Whatever the cause is, open the door. Keep the abyss of time from disappearing, <laughs> and we'll be trying to destroy it. We could be in for a battle. We should make Let sure me in. Open the door. She's right. This is where we aim to settle everything. And I know we can do this. Well, I don't. <laughs> we might be grinding for a while. <laughs> it's like instead of the We're main character, it's just <laughs> da, 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 his name is John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <did it. laughs> oh my god, John Cena is the abyss of time. <laughs> <laughs> or some shit like no. that. 
Yeah. Or it's like Shadow the Hedgehog. The <laughs> <laughs> there he Gojo! is. Gojo! Oh my god. <laughs> and <it's dead. laughs> It's like the guy. It's like he turns around. It's like. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> He just waves his hand in front of his face and disappears. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see me. Oh shit, he's right. Bye, uh, bye, Bakoda. <laughs> Aw. No, don't go. I still haven't gotten your make a wish yet. <laughs> Give him a baseball cap. He'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> Rise above hate. No. Well, I guess you know what it's time for rise of, rising above hate. Never give up. Time to become WWE champion. <laughs> Are you perhaps looking for the answer? <gasps> <laughs> and his name is John. <laughs> I finally That's the found answer. it. That's it. I found it. Oh god. Oh no, look at her sprite. She wants to she's actually slightly she's going into robot robotic mode. Again. Oh no. No, I guess no. You're a real girl. Are you sure about that? <laughs> he like comes out of the thing. There is no <laughs> Yeah. Bus? Yeah, John Cena. Don't look at me. Yeah, I saw Meta standing up from yep. right behind her. I saw that. Even if, it was just Even if it was just his ass. Indeed. Yeah, we. That's, that's it. I'm going to restart Persona 3 and name him John Cena. <laughs> just keep playing it all again. Oh, John Cena Coon, are you going home? <laughs> John Cena Coon. Oh, Cena San. Oh. oh. <laughs> Good to. Oh, shit. Like, literally, as he fucking kicked. <laughs> Back when I went to see WWE Live in 2011. Oh, my God. <laughs> Myself to do anything. VA going hard. She's doing a good job here. For a while, I did nothing but chase after him in my dreams. Oh, I guess. That's me too. Sister. John Cena, that is. I too dream. Of, I too dream of John Cena. I stopped having dreams at all. It felt like the weight on my chest was lightening until it was lifted entirely. What we saw just now. Must have been the last time I had that dream. <clears throat> Honestly, I don't know why that would be my reason. Sister. Your answer. Are you still in pain? The person we saw in your dream. He's the one with the same power as you, isn't he? Yeah, good good job guessing game, Metis. Let's kill him. Doing all right. I, I know you've been left out of the loop a lot, but... <laughs> Me, Riddy, Jujutsu Kaisen. Yeah, real. You still don't get it, and then Menace tries to explain it, like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, and Menace's Twitter. Uh, shut the fuck up. Sister's memory. But all of you want to see him again, right? If that's the case, then the conclusion is simple. Bring him back to life. What are you saying? We, uh, break him that's out I of Igus's head. Right after all. You're all stupid. Eliminating all of you? Would have oh God! The fastest way to solve this. So, that figure we keep seeing. With the same silhouette. Oh. Sorry, John she was, Cena. She was looking into my soul. Just as I thought, a monster is coming. Your regrets themselves. Oh God. Eh, he's just some fuck wad. Dare, dare, dare. Oh, Jesus. He can't be any smarter than I am. He's gonna be fucking easy. Is that... 
Well, I expected this at least. Bring it on! Oh god, here we go. Bro, this guy sucks. He's me, he must suck. Dude. That's hard. If this is a reflection of me, you'd be a piece of cake! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Also, we're nearing two hours on the recording, so hopefully we can last. Okay. Yeah, it should be fine. The battle. I'm gonna kill this guy. Yeah. I don't know how long this battle is gonna last, but let's kill us. Kill himself. I think I- I'm guessing he doesn't have a weakness. Damn. Probably. He's probably just- yeah, he's gotta be OP. Damn it, Metis, you goddamn fool! What, what personas will he try to use against us? You fool! Whoa. Whoa. What the fuck? That goes hard. Wait, what? What? Oh, he has Metis or Igus's persona. Sorry. He has okay. Igus's persona. But that 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 went hard though, the fucking mm. <laughs> the the red light up. Oh. He just did vile assault, that's okay. worthless. So he used Athena. He's probably got all of our personas, I guess? Instead of all of his own? Well, I guess only like, only ever had Athena. Yeah. Like, is he gonna bring out Jack Frost? I don't think he is. No. He's probably gonna bring up this- that one as well. Okay. I, I mean, if he just had Athena, that'd be kind of weird. <clears throat> well, it would just mean that he switched with us. Oh, yeah, that would make- I guess that would make sense. <laughs> yeah, we just switch our abilities. Here yeah. you have Athena, we'll take the wild card or whatever it is. We'll have all of them. Eat this egg! This precious egg! There we go. Come back I to wish us, I could fucking... John Cena. Oh, I can. <gasps> Let's go. I want to do this. Yeah, because you're about to get your theurgy. I want that. Wish I should have probably done Maso Rikaja, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Well, I don't have Maso Rikaja, uh. but I I could have done a Sutra or whatever. I I was just a silly boy. I'm just a silly boy. Silly boy. boy. Um. I'm not a smart boy. Smart boy. Wait. I'm just a silly boy. Okay, yeah, he's just using Athena for now. I can just... If he... Yeah, if he just has Athena, I mean, I guess that's fair. But he hasn't actually swung a sword. He's just been using Athena. I barely ever swing my sword. Here we go. Virgin. <laughs> Here we go. I think that was what happened to me. Yes. Um, I'm just gonna try this. I can swing my sword. No, what is Metis's persona called? I didn't even realize. No, no. I, I didn't think of it. I have no fucking idea. Athena 2. Athena backwards. Fuck. Hold on. I actually, I'm, I am gonna look it up. I'm curious. Well, I could just find Metis out. Persona. I could just find out on the survey. Persona, screen. Metis Persona. Persona change. Oh. He. Oh, has there we go. Isis. Oh, that's Yukari's. Oh, because this he's like a being of okay, our own so creation or whatever. Yeah. Right. Okay. So he's got Isis. Hopefully, I know it's that now. Yeah. Hopefully it's just the party we're currently using is the only thing he can... Maybe. Uh, copy, I guess.
If that were the case, he should be weak to electric. Damn, y'all need to shut the fuck up. I can't wait to be out of here. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's you know it's loud when even I hear it. Yeah. Uh, I can't. I don't know exactly what I want you to do. Oh, I can do uh, a sutra. That was what I was thinking of. Yeah, this. Okay. All right, heal. Okay. Is it just me or did he get a lot tougher? <laughs> he grew up a little bit since becoming deceased or in the spirit yeah, I realm. I do think that something? did more damage. Nice. What is optimal? Eh, didn't do that much. Yeah. Okay, I wonder if there's a better way to deal with this. I'll reflect, but that'll do nothing. Well, that's fine, though. Persona. Man, that that sucks. <laughs> that's terrible. Um. <laughs> Fuck! I need more theurgies! God. Will you really? I'll take care of this. Yeah, the like the weakness moves definitely do. do more. Oh god. Fuck all damage to him. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I wonder if I can deal with that. Okay, you're definitely weak to wind. That's no surprise. Ooh, hello, hello, my sweet. I'm not imagining right, 50 things. They that's definitely do more. Fifty percent. That's pretty good. He's he's a. Uh, you know, I I expected this rider. to be final boss yes. spec, but so far he's not really been that. Let's go. go if go. we still got that boss rush, then I guess. Yeah. Well, there's a boss yeah. rush. I didn't. I actually didn't account for this. Um, but this might. I mean, this is not going to be that hard. I don't think. But nah, but I, I thought this would have came after the boss rush, no. but... There's definitely one more th I, big final boss, I believe. Okay. Yeah. You know, he seems, uh... No quite effect. simple enough to handle. Can I just throw something at him? I don't really like... Well, maybe I can do an item. Uh, it's much better to do one of these. All right, he might change. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Caesar. All right, cool. Yeah, it looks like he, he probably changes around every third or every quarter. <clears throat> okay, so now that we know that, let's see if I can create a more ideal scenario. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can create a perfect scenario. I mean, honestly, like, you're not a bad call. Your magic's really strong. Yeah, that makes a big difference. <clears throat> Bam, this baby. is my resolve. I'll kill you. Okay. Alright. We just need to watch Yukari. Because if she gets hit with that electric stuff... We're gonna be fubbernucked. Got 
Oh, that sucks. Not a big deal, though. That, eh. Okay, I, I want to do uh, this. To eliminate that so that I can get back up to normal. I'm actually going to do a charge. Just for fun. Um... For the shits and giggles. And then I'm going to do one of these bad boys. Where's my phone? You got a new car. She's gonna, that bitch. She's going to kill him. I'm going to ruin this man's whole career. Oh, no. my Bluetooth is on. Oops. He lied. You lied, Jikari. It's not finished. Where do you get to kill this man? I'm unable to. Give me a fucking break. You're lying. Uh. Okay. I don't need that. All right. What was I doing? I already forgot. Uh, winning? The normal, the usual thing for me. Hehe. <laughs> Bam. Touching my fat dubs. That was all your charge amounted to? Go home. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Alright, this won't do that much, but... <sighs> Blammo! Well, that wasn't that bad. That could have been worse. Okay, now yeah. he's gonna do one more. Change? Isis again. Alright. Not copying Metis's. He's only copying his friends. You're not a friend, Metis. Yeah. Do you you're think you're included? Replacement. No, you're not. Alright. You're so close to I dying. I love it if Jack Frost was the thing that fucking killed him. <laughs> Man, bitch. I mean, just keep healing, like, even if it, even if there's nothing to heal, basically, just keep healing. Okay, you're fucked. You're so screwed. You don't have a chance. I have to do anything. I'm literally just sitting here. Just catching doves. We're gonna win. I'm literally just Kill. sitting here. The big fist. Oh, a crit, baby! Oh, oh this is it, baby! Get. Oh, there's an event. No. There's not an event. Oh. You just did nine damage. You just did nine damage. Well, that's just how it is, I suppose. Yeah. How we expected to finish this. Okay, cool. By like that. I won. Damn, I beat the Take fuck that out of that John guy. Cena. 50,000. Whee! Damn, I beat the fuck out of that guy. That's your nine. Let's go. Who's that? Who was that again? <laughs> I don't know. I can't. I don't know. Yeah. I can't see him. Oh, it's animated. Doesn't look good. <laughs> He's not looking so hot. <laughs> bye bye. We really can't see him. Not anymore. He's becoming trans- uh, in transparent. <laughs> Don't go! John Cena!
Damn. Well. So that's actually like the last time they're gonna see him. The butterfly. Which is extremely important, but I forget why. Uh, that's well. That's how it started. The butterfly represents the velvet room. Our own creation. But that was. That was our friend. That was our our dude. May have taken his form, but that was a shadow. At least it seemed like one to me. Wait, how does that make sense? Yeah, but this thing is a figment of our minds anyway. No. That's why you're able to fight them in the oh. first place. Shadows are the basis components of the human mind. Suppress thought. I guess that makes sense. Well, yeah, we've been picking up personas after beating up shadows. <laughs> yeah. Parts of themselves, those parts break loose, free from all control. I just never questioned it. <laughs> yeah. Cases, people with a certain awareness are able to consciously tame their shadows. That's all it is. I face up, so I own that, I wake up to the truth. Their own shadows? Oh. Boy. Back up a sec. So no. Personas and shadows are just, <laughs> just steps backwards. The same thing? How didn't you know? Wouldn't whoever created me and my sister had to have known that? No one involved with that is still alive. They all did. So then, our personas were the cause of all this? The power of shadows affects both time and space, so it makes sense that your subconscious thoughts would be manifested through your personas. You can't accept time moving on. What? You don't want to admit that you live in a present where you've lost someone precious. So that's... that's why it looks so like... Because none of them can get over his death. That's why this is happening. I've got, I, I, like I got that, but that's kind of a weird, that's a weird explanation for it. But okay. We're the ones who trapped ourselves. How ironic. Well, regardless of what it was, we beat that thing. So it's done, right? We can go home. Yeah, I, pu I punched it. Shouldn't time continue? Yes. But. It We're glowing. Like key. Those must be the keys a key. that will allow you to leave. Once you make it outside, the abyss of time should disappear on its own. Oh, great. But, um, why are there eight of them? Because you all had a hand in causing this. These keys can be likened to the power of your hearts. The door should open if you use all eight at once. Strength of heart and united is barred by no door. Is this what he meant? So we just put them all together and we're good. Who said that? Cool. Eagle? What? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> John Cena? Oh, wait, uh, these John Cena. <laughs> door entrance, right? There is that. But it's not your only option. There's another door as well. One that doesn't lead to the outside. How do you know all this? You can exit through it. Who fucking knows? Entrance. Those are your choices. A door that doesn't lead outside. So the one to his room. Why the choice? The entrance will return you to the present. But the other door leads to the past. The past? They're on the abyss of time, okay. Back or forward. The past. You've all been there many times now. But this time, the abyss yeah, will July. go through that door. He'll actually be in the past. What? Are you being straight with us? Why would I? No, lie? I'm gay. I'm just no, telling I'm you what I know. I'm being gay with you. Let me see if I understand correctly. We have to choose between moving. Forward so we could go back to July. Or revisiting the source of them. Ah. Ah. You to do. Me? I'll go along with whatever you decide, sister. 
Thanks. At least someone will. Want to save you from this awful fate? That's all I care about. Okay. Well, what do you think is the correct option then, Metis? So what will you choose? I... Uh... Hey. Uh, why don't we go back to the dorm first? This place is kind of like endless abyss kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. At least let me sit on a couch first. God. J uh, Junpei being, like, way more mature is, like, is good. Oh on? shit, the place is falling apart. Oh, it's done, becoming guess, the it's abyss it's of time. It's becoming unstable. We still have time, but not uh, like uh, if these fissures reach the door. We might not be able to leave, even with the keys. It's just one thing after another, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna take minutes to sit sit down for two minutes and take a break. Oh wait, they are sitting down for two minutes. Okay. We gotta decide what to do with these keys, huh? Um well. I, for one, want to go back to the time when I saw John Cena at a WWE live performance. To stay in the present. I think that's what he would have wanted, too. What he would have wanted, huh? Yeah, what are you guys going to do? Go back to the past and be like, No, actually, I'll just let the whole uh, fall thing, you know, everybody go dying, basically, and going brain dead. Just let that happen. If you stay alive, it'll be cool. So that's the thing I really liked about Persona 3's ending is that you, like, because when you explained it, you could have chosen to live in bliss until the end of the world or stop it. Yeah. So it's giving you another chance to make that choice almost. Yeah, basically. It's like, fuck. I get the feeling that he, he must have given his life to make some kind of miracle happen. Ken, how, you're a smart kiddo. Options. Yeah, because like he just died suddenly, so good open mind there, Ken. Miracle? That's why, personally, I don't want to just undo his decision. I want to respect that. Yeah, he's one hundred percent correct. That is a respectable decision, there, Ken. Good job, child. Even if it hurts, we have to accept it too. That's how we honor his memory. Yukari, what about you? You're all about the here and now, right, Yukatan? You gotta look forward, huh? That's practically your motto, ain't it? You're making shit up, Junpei. I... Yeah, what, yeah, what was the her motto? I want to go back. So, this is the conflict then. Yes. Correct. Okay. This is different. We might be able to change something. We can't pass that up. Yukari. See, this is. I think. So, this is like the point of conflict, I think, that people come to hate Yukari for in this part of the game. Um, but that you. If you. It totally makes sense because if you look at it from her perspective, she knows nothing about the whole like sacrificing his life to uh, to stop the fall. Like she doesn't know anything about that. It was just one day he yeah. died, you know. So you t this totally makes sense. So you take away his choice for your own. <gasps> not what I said. We can actually change the past. What's wrong with wanting that? Let me ask you. If you prevented your father's death, what would happen? All right, man, that's... People you've met, what you've gone through with them, it'd all be gone. And you wouldn't be the person you are now. It's the same for Shinji and Miki. I wouldn't erase their deaths either. Every single thing about my past is important. Because it all shaped who I am. Well, that's the thing. What if you don't like who you are right now? <laughs> then, you know, of course, you'd want to change it. Okay. Take it down a notch? Are you kidding? If anything, we're not taking this seriously enough. We can save him from dying. Don't you want to bring him back? 
Of course I want him back. But is yelling at each other like this really going to solve anything? And think about it. If we go back... That wasn't that hard. That wasn't that bad. It just kind of took a while. I want to eat them. <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll make this easy. I will eat all of the keys. <laughs> Let's all just die. No one gets a choice. You seriously won't make a choice? The day we said our goodbyes, you were the only one who didn't show up. You got to hear his last words, and now you even have his power. But you still don't know how you feel about him? Listen. Well, she is a robot, Yukari. Fucking... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, well, that makes sense. Yeah, that's words, that's real. It's possible to take them by force and combine them. By force? Are you saying you want to fight? See, okay, at, at this point, I would understand some reservations towards Yukari because she's like, "Hey, fuck the rest of you." I, because like. That one thing Sonata said of, like, you would take away his choice for your own. Like, well, then again, you don't know that he was the one that made that choice. He might have been forced to make yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. But, like, you don't... So they I don't, understand. They don't know that. Yeah, so I, I understand Yukari's point of view. But, yeah, it's yeah. just like, hey, how about fuck the rest of you? Like, I don't know. But I, yeah. I, I get No, I 100% well, like, agree she, with Akihiko and, and Ken. I like, But that's, you know, that's only because we know everything you know like yeah, we, we, went we, that. we know yeah because like, if we didn't know then yeah because imagine like this just happens one day to someone and it's so fucking vague like i understand all of their points of views yeah absolutely and but yeah but, but because they're just they've just written yukari to be the one that's against the grain of course yeah. people would be like oh yukari what a bitch but i get it i get what she's feeling yeah absolutely i'm like, so fucking absolutely So what's yeah? What's her reason then? Yeah, are you sure? I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you. Do <laughs> <laughs> I? Guess you've got your reason. You don't forget it. I've got mine. Well, I'm yeah, everyone's got their reasons. I would just like to know. You, like, I get you, Kari's choice, because like the symbol. Like, I don't know about like personas, lore, and storytelling and all that, but. Even the simple fact that Yukari is the lover's arcana, like, they're trying to say that she would have a somewhat deeper connection with the main character. Well, it's not even so that. It's her. just they they were, like, Yukari was the first person he met, right? Like, yeah, they, they were always yeah. on the same page, like, and even in, so, like, in the manga, which is about as close to, like, canon as it gets, or, like, the manga or the anime adaptation, um... In the manga, she says, uh, I, "Once everything is over, I'm gonna tell him how I feel." So it's ca it's pretty much canon that she has a crush on him. So yeah, and then not being <laughs> able to express that or understand yeah. why he had to go away. Yes, it, it like it paints a lot of it in clear context of why she wants to go back. Yeah, exactly. uh, it makes a lot of sense. Yep. No! Because <laughs> yeah, he's important. Because he, cause he is important to you. Yeah, okay. Wait, don't do this. I'm 
made my feelings clear. Now you... No. Now everyone needs to recognize their own feelings. Think about who he was. And what he meant to us. And Fuka's just like, Well, I'm just gonna go get some popcorn. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this with popcorn. Like she's she's just there. Oh. We'll need a proper venue for the battle. Mitsuru, why? The Tokyo Dome. I know that just. Oh my God, the Tokyo Dome, Wrestle Kingdom. No, but um, they needed a reason for them to pair up. But yeah, I don't know why Mitsuru was siding with Yukari. Like, they, uh, for her own reasons, she wants to go back. Okay. Whatever. Who am I supposed to navigate? My friends are Eric, Eric, Eric and Seg. Hmm. <laughs> what decision? Era council, era council B. Reconcilably, I believe it's irreconcilably divided. Irreconcilably, God, I gotta somehow throw that into one of my books just to pretend I know fancy language.